In the name of Almighty God, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning and welcome to the service on this, the Feast of Christ the King, the Sunday before Advent Sunday. It's good to be with you again today and I hope that you're keeping well. Let us start our worship with a hymn. Jesus says, repent for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. So let us turn away from sin and turn to Christ, confessing our sins in penitence and faith. O King enthroned on high, filling the earth with your glory, holy is your name, Lord God Almighty. In sinfulness we cry to you, to take our guilt away and to cleanse our lips to speak your word through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord enrich you with God's grace and nourish you with God's blessing. The Lord defend you in trouble and keep you from all evil. The Lord accept your prayers and absolve you from your offences. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. And now we sing the Gloria. So let us pray. God the Father, help us to hear the call of Christ the King and follow in Jesus' service. His kingdom has no end, for Christ reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. A reading for the book of Revelation. Grace to you and peace from God, who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and frees us from our sins by his blood, and made us to be a kingdom, priests serving his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Look, he is coming with the clouds. Every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And on his account all the tribes of the earth will wail. So it to be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Alleluia. Hallelujah. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Pilate asked Jesus, Are you 
the King of the Jews. Jesus answered, Do you ask this on your own, or did others tell you about me? Pilate replied, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation, the chief priests, have handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not from this world. If my kingdom were from this world, my followers would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not from here. Pilate asked him, So are you a king? Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. This is the Gospel of the Lord. May I speak in the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, the Feast of Christ the King, the Sunday before Advent, is often known as Stir Up Sunday. It is the day where, traditionally, Christmas puddings are made. And that comes very much from the, the post-communion prayer or that says, Stir up, O Lord, the wills of your faithful people. Stir up, O Lord. Stir up Sunday. Make the Christmas puddings. There's the connection. But actually, we also are marking the end of the liturgical year. Next Sunday is our new year, where we start the new liturgical year with Advent Sunday. and We begin proper our preparations for the arrival of Jesus at Christmas. Tonight down at Rescola we have the, the Celtic service where actually we will be keeping Advent. The old Celtic church fasted for 40 days before Christmas. So the actually old Celtic Advent, the old preparation time was 40 days. But what we hear, see here in this gospel reading is Pilate questioning Jesus. More importantly, he's questioning who Jesus was. And there are lots of people who still question who Jesus is. There are people who can quite easily see that Jesus was a good man who walked the earth 2,000 years ago. He ruffled a few feathers. He did some good deeds. What they struggle to do is to make that step to Jesus being someone who is the Son of God, is also in the three natures of God. They struggle also with Jesus being able to perform miracles. I think it's very clear that Jesus did go performing these miracles because people wrote them down. And the reality is if they hadn't been happening, there would have been a lot of people would have wanted to disprove that. So the question we have to ask ourselves are, are we ready for the question when people ask us who Jesus is? Are we ready to talk about what Jesus means to us? And Jesus will have a slightly different relationship with all of us. But is integral to our Christian faith. As we soon get ready to prepare for, a, for the arrival of Jesus at Christmas. We will slowly go through some, some, some liturgical and, and light our Advent ring. But it's important that we're ready for those questions. And you will have heard me say this time and time again, that we need to be comfortable to talk about our relationship with Jesus, our relationship with God. 
so that when people ask us, we can answer them. That's a very important thing to do. And it is important that we're prepared for those questions. So today, stir up those feelings. Think about your relationship with Jesus, your relationship with God, where the Holy Spirit fits in your life. And then you can be prepared to talk to others about it. Amen. Let us declare our faith in God as we say together, we believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. So let us with confidence present our prayers and supplications to the throne of grace. We pray for all those in positions of power, that they may govern with wisdom and integrity, serving the needs of their people. May your reign come. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the church, the sign of your reign, that it may extend your welcome to people of every race and background. May your kingdom come. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Christians of every denomination, that together we may come to understand the royal priesthood you bestowed on us in baptism. May your dominion come. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those whose commitment to truth brings them into conflict with earthly powers, that they may have the courage to endure. May your rule come. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our community of faith, that attentive to your word, we may always worship in spirit and in truth. May your reign come. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick. For Margaret for Isabel, for Ken, for Pauline, for Phil, for Bill, for Robert, for Cheryl and Roseanne. We pray for those who've died. For Margaret, for Barbara, for Debbie, for Keith, for Janet and for baby Louie. Loving God, you have taught us that the power of heart is greater than the power of wealth and might. Hear us as we pray for the fulfilment of your reign. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our King. To him be glory and power forever. Amen. To crown all things there must be love. To bind all together and complete the whole, let the peace of Christ rule in our hearts. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And now we sing our next hymn.
Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is always right to give thanks, God our Creator, loving and faithful, holy and strong. You made us and the whole universe and filled your world with life. And now we give you thanks because you anointed Jesus Christ as the eternal priest and king of all. As a priest, Jesus' life was offered upon the cross, so that by one sacrifice an eternal kingdom might be presented to you, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so we join the angels to celebrate and sing. Almighty God, on the night before Jesus died, Jesus shared a meal with his friends. Jesus took the bread and thanked you. Jesus broke it, gave it to them, saying, Take and eat, this is my body, given for you. Do this to remember me. After the meal, Jesus took the cup of wine. Jesus thanked you, gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood, the new promise of God's unfailing love. Do this to remember me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ has ascended up on high. Almighty God, as we bring this bread and wine and remember Jesus' death and resurrection, send your Holy Spirit that we who share these gifts may be fed by Christ's body and blood. Pour your Spirit on us that we may love one another, work for the healing of the earth and share the good news of Jesus as we wait for Jesus' coming in glory. For honour and praise belong to you, Almighty God, along with Jesus and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father.
So let us pray. Stir up, O Lord, the wills of your faithful people, that they, plenteously bringing forth the fruit of good works, may by you plenteously be rewarded through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We sing our final hymn. It's been good to join with you again today. I look forward to joining you with you next week as we start our Advent journey towards Christmas. We start the new liturgical year. As I say, if you're local, tonight is our Celtic Mass down at Rescola. All are welcome to join us for that. There will be a Cornish tea afterwards. I look forward to joining with you next Sunday. And please keep up to date by liking the St Joseph's page on Facebook, but also if you can uh, subscribe on the YouTube channel, that would be great. A reminder that on Christmas Day, if you know anyone in the Greater St Austell area, or they can travel further if they want, but anyone in the area who is going to be alone or will struggle with cooking a meal, uh, on Christmas Day and for some that might be a couple who just have no family uh, very welcome to join me but they do need to book in 
at Traverbing Community Hall for our Christmas Day celebrations. So God's blessing. Christ, our exalted King, pour upon you abundant gifts and bring you to reign in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, Jesus and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you and those whom you love, seen and unseen, now and for ever. Amen. Strengthen us in the peace of Christ the King. Thanks be to God.